How's this for a double act? Smart drone tech combined with the natural fertilising properties of seaweed. We're right there, right in the beginning of things that could absolutely change agriculture. The potential growth for drone use in British agriculture is huge. They're already being used across the world for survey work, mapping and crop spraying, but there's tight restrictions on delivering a payload in the UK, which is why Alex, a farmer from Ukraine, approached David and Michael from Edward Seaweeds. He wanted to find a natural product that he could apply to crops from his drone. They cannot uh, apply chemical fertilisers and they were looking for something that they could actually put on the land to make full use of the drones or a wider use of drones. So yeah, they'd seen what we were doing under UK seaweed fertilisers and uh, they approached us. I had a previous experience in Ukraine. I used and apply uh, seaweeds on my field because I grow uh, vegetables, I grow uh, tomato on, in greenhouses and open field I grow cucumber and also it's uh, a biological product, so it's uh, very good uh, for environment uh, and uh, yes. David is also a farmer and is very excited to see his seaweed fertilizer being delivered in this way. After a horribly wet winter, he sees the obvious advantage of hitting crops on sodden ground and reaching parts of the farm that would either be too dangerous or impractical. Just think with this, the danger for farmers driving up and down the Welsh mountains, putting on, trying to put on fertiliser and tractors running away and rolling over. And you could basically stand in the farmyard and send this off up the hill, put the, put the fertiliser on for them and come back and land in the yard and you can go and do another field in the other direction. So what mix have you got going in then, David? We're going to do a 50-50 mix of um, seaweed and, and water. It's very concentrated but it's going through a different pumping system with the drone and they're just spraying it onto the leaf and I think with the misting system that they've got, it should work extremely well. What's it smell like? The sea? Like a seaweed. <laughs> Let's have a smell. Let's have a smell. Have a smell. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's just going to open a packet of the BioN now, which is the nitrogen fixing and phosphate cycling bacteria. This will give a continual supply of nitrogen to the plants as the plants require it for up to at least nine months. So it's just taking nitrogen out of the air and putting it onto the, to the soil. It gets into the soil and then it's taken up by the plant. This relationship is as much a human story as a business one. Alex was a farmer and experienced drone pilot but his life changed forever when the Russians targeted the defences the Ukrainian military had installed on his farm, which sits along one of the main archery routes into Kyiv. Everything was destroyed, including his three hectares of glass houses. His family urged him to start a new life in the UK. For example, if we stay here, this is uh, my greenhouses. Jet uh, system was maybe near a cow. So they also uh, shoot a uh, jet uh, system and it uh, cover uh, all my field uh, and uh, all greenhouses. Okay. So yes, uh, but it's, it was difficult, uh, obviously, but uh, it's, I don't know, it's life. Alex struggled to find work in the UK, as his English was non-existent, so he started looking into the emerging agricultural drone industry. And here he is, a year on, a qualified pilot, and his English is coming along nicely. So this is uh, XAG P100 P store. We can cover 150 or 200 hectares per one day. They're, they're common in Ukraine, are they? 30,000, maybe. Uh, people operate with big agriculture drone and provide uh, service uh, for fields, uh, for greenhouses and uh, I think 
this market will grow. Also, it reduces uh, consumptions uh, of uh, foil. Yes, uh, fuel. Fi fuel. Fuel, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuel. Uh, petrol, yeah. diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Much of his work so far has been glass house shading and solar panel cleaning, showing just how versatile these drones are. But today, it's all about seaweed and its amazing properties. Seaweed is a biostimulant. It stimulates roots. It pushes roots down deeper. It produces more healthier plants. Producing more healthier plants produces more healthier animals, produces more healthier people. Awesome. What more do you want, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the Edwards family was first introduced to seaweeds in the 1960s. They've fine-tuned this sustainably sourced, organic-approved product so it can benefit all agricultural systems and livestock management. He says the two main reasons for people not seeing the sense in seaweed over modern-day chemicals is a lot of farmers have ditched sprayers for hoppers to deliver fertiliser in a solid form and, of course, the fear of change. We are now getting the farmers that are in their 20s and 30s and they'll say, yeah, yeah, we would do all And they turn around and say, well, yeah, we, okay, we think it's absolutely wonderful, we want, we want to use it, I've just got to go and ask Dad because he's got the purse strings. And mainly Dad says, no, we'll stick some nitrogen because we know what it does. After the drone has done its work, Michael heads over to grab a soil sample of the ground we've just covered. The guys don't just sell seaweed, they assess your soil health too. We can see where our seaweed's landed on the plant. There's a couple of small dots here. So we know that that has actually landed on the plant and that'll go and work. With a conventional crop sprayer, we would see a lot more of these dots, a lot, but they'd be a lot finer. There will be a little bit of, let's wait and see, and see what happens. But at least we know that that machine will put our products on and they should go and work, especially with the challenging times we've had this year. At least that can go where a tractor and sprayer can't, and it, they're not creating any damage to the ground. For us, it's a, it's a huge win-win, and we'll see where things go. This was never a test of the drone or the fertiliser, but whether they were compatible. We set it up to do the uh, right amount to, to cover the patch at uh, five litres per hectare, and it's done it, and the tank's empty, and it's come back and landed. Wonderful. And after a successful first flight, it looks like the future of farming could be sourced from the sea and delivered by air. For more information about Alex and his drone, go to farmdronesuk.com and to learn about the benefits of seaweed fertiliser for the health of your soil, crops and livestock, head to ukseaweedfertiliser.co.uk.